Senator from Louisiana. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, uh, as we know, President Biden um, has been talking the last 30 to 60 days about uh, Bidenomics. And I think it would be fair to say uh, that because uh, so many Americans are struggling to support their families, that uh, President Biden is struggling to explain what he means by Bidenomics. I think most fair-minded Americans, based on the what, year and a half, year and a few, year and a half and a few months that President Biden has been president, understand what Bidenomics is because they understand at this juncture uh, what, what President Biden believes in. Not only what he believes in, what he's done. Bidenomics, to most fair-minded Americans, is bigger government. Bidenomics is higher taxes. Biden, Bidenomics is more regulation. Bidenomics is more spending. Bidenomics is, um, is more debt. Bidenomics is also inflation. But let me say that again. First and foremost, Bidenomics is inflation. Inflation, President Biden's inflation, history I believe will demonstrate this, is a cancer on the American dream. It's a cancer on the American dream. Um, since President Biden has been president, electricity is up 24%. There's your Bidenomics. Gas, gasoline, I'll just quote you from Louisiana, is up 65%. Eggs are up 39%. Potato chips are up 25%. Bread is up 26%. Coffee costs 30% more, thanks to President Biden's inflation and Bidenomics. Rice is up 29%. Flour is up 25%. Milk's up 18%. Ice cream, 18%. Chicken, 23%. I could... I could keep going. Let me give you a few statistics to put those numbers in context. The, the, the median household income in my state, Louisiana, is $53,571. The median household income of an American family nationwide is $70,784. So Louisiana median household income, not individual income, household income, about $54,000 median income throughout America is about $71,000. In my state, Bidenomics and President Biden's inflation is causing my people, the average family in Louisiana, an additional $757 a month, not a year, a month. That's $9,084 a year. So imagine in Louisiana, uh, if you... Uh, if, if, if you're at the median household income of $54,000 a year, that's you and a spouse and children, and all of a sudden, in the past year and a half, under Bidenomics, you've got to come out of pocket an extra $9,000 a year. You're making $54,000 a year to support the family, 
And now all of a sudden you've got to come out of pocket. You've got to find an extra $9,000 just, just, just to tread water. Where are you going to get that money? Maybe you saved up a little money from the stimulus checks, but that's probably gone. Maybe you have a savings account that you set aside, but that's probably gone now too. Uh, maybe you've got a couple of credit cards, but you've maxed those out. Maybe you have a dream of sending your children to college and you have a college fund. You've already had to dip into that. And there's no end in sight. Now that's the experience of the people in my state from Bidenomics, and I think that's the experience uh, across America. That's why I say that, um, that, that um, uh, inflation, President Biden's inflation, has been a cancer on the American dream. And, and I can tell you in Louisiana, my people are getting really good at barely getting by. And there's no end in sight. Now, I'm pleased to be able to say, Mr. President, that, that the rate of inflation has been coming down. And I hope it keeps coming down. Our last inflation numbers showed that uh, you've seen them in, in reported in the media. Um, inflation is now at 3%. That's, that's sort of accurate. It is at 3%. But the reason it's, it's at 3% is because of the, primarily because of the fall in the price of gasoline. Gasoline is still high. But the price of oil has come down because our economy and the world economy is so weak, so there's, there's less demand for oil. But more important than overall inflation is what we call core inflation. That's what most economists look at. They look at core inflation. Because core, infla core C-O-R-E, inflation, looks at inflation without looking at energy or food because energy and food can be, both be vo very volatile. Core inflation is at 4.8%, and it's been very sticky. Still way over the Federal Reserve's targeted 2%. But it has been coming down, and that's good news. But what does that mean? All it means is that the rate of increase in inflation has been slowing. When you have inflation, let's say at 8%, and you get it down to 6%, that means that you have reduced the rate of increase of the prices. The economists call that disinflation. That doesn't mean that prices are going down. It just means that prices aren't rising as rapidly. And if we can get core inflation down to 2%, that does not mean these high prices that I just quoted are going to go down. That would be deflation. I regret to tell you, Mr. President, and I think you know what I'm saying is, is accurate. These high prices are permanent. We're going to be stuck with a 24% increase in electricity. Even if we can get inflation down to 0%, these high prices that have been caused by Bidenomics are permanent. Uh, we're going to be stuck with, with uh, coffee up 30%. I'm not going to reread the list. That's why I say that inflation, the major product of Bidenomics, has been a, a cancer on the American dream. Now, my people in Louisiana need every dollar they can get right now. Average family making $54,000 a year, now having to find an additional $9,000 a year 
And, and that's not going to change. Their only hope is that it doesn't get worse. So I want to call the attention of my people to uh, tax refunds. A lot of my people get tax refunds. They get money back. They have money withheld from their paycheck, and oftentimes it's too much. And the state of Louisiana and the federal government owe them money in the form of a tax refund. And, and sometimes my people in Louisiana are busy earning a living. They get up every day. They go to work. They obey the law. They pay their taxes. They try to teach their children morals. They try to do the right thing for, the, for their children. They get busy, and sometimes people forget to claim their tax refunds. So I'm here today, number one, to try to explain Bidenomics and tell the, the people in Louisiana and the people in America, I'm sorry they're having to go through this. But number two, I understand every dollar counts. And please, please, please check and see if you are due a tax refund. For example, I start with the state. Uh, the state of Louisiana is holding almost $12 million, $11,574,249 that is owed in tax refunds to the people of Louisiana. 15,461 people are owed a tax refund, and they haven't claimed it. The average refund is about $750. Um, you need to claim it. I say to my people, you need to claim it by August 28th. If you don't claim it by August 28th, you won't lose it. The money will be transferred to the Treasury Department, become part of what is called the unclaimed property program. Um, but, and then you just have to fill out more paperwork to get your money. So if you think you have a tax refund due from the state of Louisiana, go get it by August 28th. It's worth checking. All you've got to do is go to the Department of Revenue website, revenue.louisiana.gov, revenue.louisiana.gov. Now, also, my Department of Revenue, thank you for doing this, just sent out letters to every one of these 15,461 people to whom the state owes a tax refund. Our Department of Revenue sent them a letter. Uh, please open that letter. Don't throw it away. This includes individuals and business women and businessmen. All you've got to do is open that letter, and there's a voucher on there. You just fill it out and send it back in to the Department of Revenue, and you'll get your money. So please do that. You earned it. Now, at the federal level, it's a little more complicated, to no one's surprise. At the federal level, I tried to get the information from the IRS uh, about uh, how much is owed to my people in terms of federal income tax refunds. Um, you, won't, you won't faint with surprise, Mr. President, when I say it's hard to get them on the phone. And when we did get them on the phone, they said, we can't give you that information. If we told you, we'd have to kill you. Okay, so um, I went back and did some research. I, the, the most recent numbers I have are from 2000. And, uh, and 19. And in 2019, tax refunds in the amount of $22 million were owed to the people in Louisiana. These are federal income tax refunds. This is 2019 now. I don't know what the current number is because the IRS won't tell me. Um, but but to based on 2019 numbers, it's anywhere from 22 to 25 million dollars, and based on 2019 numbers, about 22,000 Louisianians are owed federal income tax refunds on top of the state income tax refunds. And I want to encourage them to check to see if they have a federal income tax refund. Here's what you need to do. You can call them if you'd like, but lots of luck, okay? Um, go to www.irs.gov slash refunds. www.irs, 
www.gov slash refunds. And you can check to see if the IRS owes you a tax refund. You're going to need your Social Security number, of course, or your taxpayer ID number. You're going to need your filing status. They want you to tell them the exact amount of your refund. They have all that information, but they want you to tell it to them. Just don't argue with them. Just go ahead and do it based off your, 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 uh, your tax return. And um, you, can, um, you can make a claim there, there online and give them a reasonable amount of time, and you can get a federal a check from the federal government as well. Um, I used to be the tax collector in Louisiana, and I can tell you for a variety of reasons that, that a lot of people, not just Louisianians, all across America, forget to claim their state income tax refund and or their federal income tax refund. So I hope they'll take advantage of this. Um, I'm sorry. I just want to say to them I'm sorry that uh, that, that uh, fed the federal government has let them down. Uh, I'm embarrassed about Bidenomics. Um, I'm sorry about this inflation. There's a cancer on the American dream. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be with us a while. I hope I'm wrong, but if we succeed in getting that rate of inflation down to 2%, that doesn't mean prices are going to go down. I wish I could sit here and tell you that. These higher prices are permanent. What we're trying to do is just stop the increase, stop the prices from going up so fast. So I hope you'll take advantage of this information, not just in Louisiana, but all, all across America, and go claim your tax refunds if, uh, if you're owed them. Madam President, I yield to my uh, friend and colleague, Senator Sanders.